U.S. Airways and American officially started their merger uh, in December of this past year, but they're still operating as two separate airlines and they still have two separate frequent flyer programs. And with that, they've got uh, two separate uh, loyalty card products. Uh, American Advantage has got the City Cards, which are some amazing deals out there, like the 100,000 current Executive Advantage card. And uh, U.S. Airways has the Barclay Card U.S. Airways product, which is pretty valuable, 40,000 miles after first purchase, which is great, no minimum spend. So TPG Reader Chris says, is it worth it to get both cards um, now, you know, assuming that they're going to merge programs and I think he answered his own question I think this is a pretty simple one yes get both two different issuers you know Barclay card is a little bit more strict when it comes to giving credit but especially if you've never had one of their cards before your approval and if you've got a good score you should be fine um, you know they are a little bit touchy about having you know proving people have tons of recent inquiries but in general US Airways miles I think are actually more valuable than American Airlines miles you can route uh, do crazy routing around the world, stopovers. You know, American with their most recent changes, they've got some of the most restrictive award uh, stopover rules and routing rules out there. Um, you know, Advantage Miles are very valuable, but um, if I could have one or the other, I think I could go further, no pun intended, with US Airways Miles. So um, at some point, probably in 2015, the programs will merge. So if you're focused on building up both balances now in the future, uh, you likely will be able to merge them. However, as we've seen recently, changes can and will happen. So, you know, I would recommend using your miles sooner than later because some of your most, uh, you know, your favorite awards may not actually be there when the programs do finally merge. But that being said, there's plenty of ways to use your miles and, and to build up even beyond just credit cards. So I say go for it, but have a strategy in mind. Any other questions? Tweet me at the points guy.